Oh, got a couple of chainsaws that I gotta look at for my neighbor. They're just really dirty. They probably run. This one's got good compression. A couple little things wrong with it. But I'm gonna go through it, clean it up. Uh, see if there's anything wrong with it. Check the... Yeah, just kind of go through it. And it looks dirty as anything. So pull the covers off and take the bar and chain off. Clean it all up. Clean the air filter. You have a look at the carburetor. Looks like it's got half a tank of gas in it still. Probably end up draining that out of there. Yeah, tune it up, I guess. He doesn't really want anything special done. He doesn't want no porting or nothing done to it. Just clean it up. Make it run reliable again. I think he got this from an auction. I don't even know if he's actually run this uh, yet. So, Anyways, thanks guys. Let's show you if there's anything crazy. Most of it will just be cleaning though. So, Not really special. Anyways, thanks guys. Oh, not sure if it's a good sign or a bad sign. Got a very clean spark plug. Not sure if that's uh, a no-go or it's, you know what I mean? These unknown saws here. Might do a quick compression test on it while I'm here. Anyways, thanks guys. Oh, not bad. 150 so it's got spark it's got compression hopefully it doesn't need a carb kit or anything like that the gas didn't smell bad yeah getting there got it cleaned up oh some little things to do i'm gonna put different gas in it you know, little stuff. I got some 40 to 1 mix and I'll tune it. And so, yeah, should run. Just got to see how that carb is. Hopefully, like I said, it doesn't need a carb kit. But yeah, slowly cleaning it up. Blew it out with the air. And also noticed uh, this choke isn't sealing perfectly. Kind of see how there's air going through there. Looks like it's off. It's off center a bit on the hole. I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference or not. I might open this up and take a look, see if I can straighten it out. Maybe it should come off the hinge a little bit. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to keep going on this. It's there's some bad cutters on here only I already did the one side but I did that one already. That one's in half decent shape. Not much left of that one. That one's pretty smashed up. Was it double? That one actually feels a little bit sharp still. Anyways, <clears throat> just showing you the chain. Pretty bad. Every tooth is damaged. So I'm gonna do the teeth, and I'll do the rakers, and. 
See if we can get her fired up. Anyways, thanks guys. Well, we got gas in here. Let's see if I can get it to start. Choke that's got some problem. <laughs> I'm trying to dump a little bit of gas in the car over here, so that's it. And after that, I'll check the spark plug, see if it's wet. So, I think it's a fuel problem. I did dump a little bit of fuel into the carb, and it fired right up. So, it's either the impulse line, uh, fuel line, or the diaphragm, or something's plugged in the carburetor. Something. It's a fuel issue, 100%. So, try and get that figured out. Let's see, probably best if I just get a curb kit for this thing anyways. You know, if the guy wants it to be reliable, but better off making it reliable. So, anyways, I'll see what I can uh, get. But, there's a steel dealership right in town, so I can get OEM if I needed to. Only an 18 inch bar on there. Cool. Anyways, guys, be back at it again. Thanks. So, I think I got the 026 running. I haven't tried a really cold start yet. It's having some problems with the, the throttle linkage and the choke, but I got the. There's a wire. The kill switch wire, it you can get it stuck in the in the carburetor space there, and the the wire moves with the choke. So now we've got a blizzard going on out here. We've got a pretty heavy weekend. So on, off. We gotta squeeze the trigger for choke. chain up spits out a ton of oil I think I finally burned through the oil because it's not soaking everything <clears throat> it runs I did uh, richen it up a little bit I seemed a little too lean I don't know if it's just because it's winter time, but 
Yeah, I pretty much adjusted everything the way I felt it would last the longest. So we'll see. Like, I haven't got it hot, so it's not really good to tune it overly while it's cold because it doesn't really give you an honest reading. Sits, it works. I'm gonna show you what's going on out here. This crazy winter storm. Definitely looks worse in person. It's like it's like the color of the sky doesn't really see the blowing snow because everything's the same color temperature's really dropping I'm really debating getting out here and getting a first plow and have to plow this multiple times if we get a couple feet like we're expected I think we probably got five inches on the driveway right now gonna be some pretty heavy drifts trucks broke down definitely gotten a lot colder it was in the pluses this morning and it's got to be minus five Celsius now it feels a lot colder and minus three in the garage it's saying but it's warmer in the garage plus it takes the garage a lot longer to cool down so anyways one of the three chainsaws is fixed ready to go i might put putting in some wood but i don't think i want to go outside and find wood to put it in anyways thanks guys